today we're gonna look at this random bag of coins there's some foreigns in here some u.s coins in here let's just take a look and see what we got Oh, these are one of those commemoratives. That's kind of cool. A token of some kind. Alright, I'm going to sort this by... We got a V-nickel. I don't even know the date on there. That is very warm, but we got a V-nickel. I'm going to go through here and sort everything. I'll let you know what we find. Alright, these are a bunch of foreign coins. I got to go through these and see what they are and see what they're worth. Then we got pennies, nickels, dimes, and then Canadian pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. So I'm going to go through all of these, sort them by year, and let you know what we got. For the U.S. pennies, we got a 1971 Denver, a 1985 Denver. This is a stack of 2009s. And then we got two 2013s, a Denver and a Philadelphia, and a 2014. We also got a couple old wheat pennies, a 1918 San Francisco, a 1928 Philadelphia, a 1929 Denver, and a 1957 Denver. All right, for the nickels, we got a 2017, a 2012, a couple 2010s, a 2007, a 2006, and then this is a stack of those Westwood Journey designs from 2004 and 2005, two 1962s, and now we got a 1942 San Francisco silver nickel, we got a buffalo nickel, I don't know if it has a date. I'll have to take a closer look. And we got a V-nickel. Very damaged. I'm going to see if I can get a date off of there, too. And I'll just show you the dimes now, too, because there's only two of them. Can't see the date on there. But it's not silver. This one, however, is silver. It's a 1952... Philadelphia silver dime. We also have this that I'm going to be saving. It looks like it might be plated, but I don't really know. Next, we have all the Canadian coins, and I'll be right back after I sort through those. Now for the Canadians, we got a 1968, a 1975, a 1986, and a 1988. For the Canadian nickels, we got a 1961 and a 1980. For the Canadian dimes, we got a 1989 and a 2005 no that's a 2006 and for the canadian quarters we got a 1969 a 1972 a 1980 and a 1981 now i'm going to go through the other foreign coins and see if i can figure out what they are all right the best things that i found value wise from the foreigns this was actually two or three dollars so i'm going to be holding on to that one this was actually $2. There's a lot of eBay listings where they sold at one, but there is a couple where they sold at two, so I'm going to be holding on to that one as well. There was one eBay listing where this coin sold for just over $5. So I'm going to be holding on to this one as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back with another one very soon. If I end up getting a date off of these, I'll let you know, but I don't see a date on either of these. If I get one, I'll let you know. Otherwise, this is the end of the video. So I'll be back with another one very soon. Bye.